Just think of your friends, the ones who care. They all will be waiting there with love to share. And your heart will lead you home. And my wish for Dorinda was that she'd be able to live independently in her home. Well, it started with Brandy and I having a conversation one night at dinner. Um, Brandy and her husband are friends with my wife and I. And it was just that we wanted to help somebody uh, and not write a check to an organization, but get involved and help somebody. My sister-in-law is Brandy. So when she met Dorinda, she called me knowing I like to try to always pay it forward. We wanted to help somebody who really wasn't expecting it or looking for it. We wanted to help somebody who just needed to catch a, a break. And Stephanie's Dorinda's home care worker. So Stephanie and Brandy were talking while they were running and just started talking about what we were trying to put together. And she said, oh, I have the person for you and told us about Dorinda. She was kind of like trapped here. She couldn't shower, she couldn't cook. There were things that were on the floor that she couldn't pick up, boxes that she couldn't move. She didn't have anywhere to store her medical supplies, anywhere to store her um, clothes. They didn't really have, you know, she didn't have any resources. And she's the primary caregiver for her brother who was mentally um, challenged. So for her, just all these obstacles became overwhelming and she, I think, just settled for what she had. I'm an insurance adjuster. So I called one of the contractors that I have used for a long time. Um, Diana jumped on board and she made phone calls and we put the word out and everybody just kind of stepped up. This was something where they had asked us if we would get involved from a charitable perspective. And once we got to meet Dorinda and meet the family and, and know the situation they had, and we would have done it anyway, but knowing her and getting to know what she's doing and she's giving back to the community and how much she's done with her getting her master's degree, having a son in college, taking care of her brother, um, it, was, it was a yes, it was a very quick yes to help out. So I came to Dorinda just to ask her what she thought of, you know, having someone come in and help her because not everyone is receptive to that. She doesn't think of herself as a person that needs help. So what started out as a simple project to help Dorinda organize her bedroom began to grow into a major renovation. Each volunteer recruited others and pretty soon Dorinda's home makeover began to take shape. I mean it's such a great case of ordinary people helping ordinary people. Uh, once we brought it to our tile guy and our flooring people, they were, they, they were like us, you know, they come from, they're very conscientious, they, they were ready to donate anything they had. My wife and her parents did the curtains. Um, there's a paint contractor that I've used a lot of times donated the painting services. XRI testing donated the refrigerator because we told them about how she can't reach the top shelf of the refrigerator. Yeah, well, all the real work happened in over two weeks. Yeah, the planning was a couple weeks ahead of that, lining up the volunteers and everything. But all the real work happened in two weeks. Past two days I haven't slept at all. And in about 40 days from start to finish, we got to where we are today. The furniture, the paint, the, the floors, the bathroom, the kitchen. It's the access to the back room. I mean, it's kind of like that old makeover show in some ways without the big truck in the front yard. <laughs> I mean, the whole house has basically been redone. I mean, we've we've painted the house. The floors have been um, refinished and revarnished. Um, there's been window treatments in every every room. The kitchen has a counter in it now for her to be able to wheel up to the counter with a, a sink that she can reach. Um, we had a side by side refrigerator donated. The cabinets are are packed with with food. Dream Dinners has donated, um, I think, up 15 or s some dinners for her to have in her freezer. Um, the sunroom, which she couldn't even get out to now, has a wheelchair ramp going down so she can go out into that room. There's been new carpeting out there. There's a desk. There's a file cabinet out there now for her to have an office to be able to work in. Um, the, oh, the bathroom is the major, that's the reason why we came. The bathroom had a tub and a sliding door on it, so obviously she could not utilize that. Um, she couldn't reach the sink in the bathroom, so the whole bathroom has been completely gutted, replumbed, and it's just brand new. The, the, the countertops are brand new, the tile's brand new, everything is brand new in the bathroom. So we're really happy about the bathroom. Um, and all the bedrooms, basically, I mean, there, there were blow-up mattresses in the bathroom, or bedrooms. There was no furniture in the bedrooms. The bedrooms all now have a bed, a headboard, a dresser. Um, and now they're just really homey and they're just beautiful.
After spending two weeks at a local hotel courtesy of the volunteers and their supporters, Dorinda, her son Brian, and brother Dale returned home to a house full of friends yeah. eager to show them their newly renovated home. They had a tub in here, the, the doorway was narrow, it wasn't uh, accessible with her wheelchair, she needed help getting in and out, and it just wasn't uh, conducive to comfort. So this was the most challenging to make it so she could actually have space in here turn around in her wheelchair, get into a shower a situation by herself, have that independence, and create more independence for her. You know, it's been a long time since I've been able to take care of my personal needs in a great way, so I can't wait to be able to take a shower. It was an old hospital bed, and there was no furniture at all. She lived out of cardboard boxes, Rubbermaid containers. There was nothing in there. So now that everything's at her reach. Now I can, I'll be able to cook a turkey for, uh, for Christmas, and, and I won't have to try to put everything on my lap to cook. Oh you ready? Oh boy. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. Should we push her in it? Yeah. <laughs> I may go swimming. <laughs> This is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Look at this. I can actually roll on with this. Great. Oh, oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> it's your brand new, uh, new hospital bed. A new bed. hospital bed. Oh my goodness. And look at this all your so supplies. Oh, all right. Right. Everything organized. <laughs> oh, this is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. You like it? It's gorgeous. It's beyond words. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is beautiful. I was thinking, like, wow, I can't believe, you know, they did all this. It's just kind of mind-blowing. Uh, my brother is excited about it. And I just, I'm just so happy to see my son smiling because I haven't seen that in a long time. And I like children the best. And the Bible speaks, it says clearly it's better to give than to receive. But there are times when, you know, God will allow you to receive in a great way. And you have to know to be able to, to be open to that. You know, I just appreciate yeah, all of this because it allows me to be independent. I would like to thank everyone for what they did. It's hard to put it in words. I know when I get up tomorrow, I'll still be looking around and saying, am I in the right house? Your heart.